savory desserts. Well, Chef Jenna is joining us to show us how we can get more dairy and vegetables. Welcome. We're glad to have you. Yes, thanks for having me. So we're going to kick off National Dairy Month here, which is a little bit of a twist on classic desserts. And of course, we're featuring dairy and vegetables. And dairy is just really important for baking for a lot of different reasons. Well, and you have created some really unique things. Mm -hmm. I have to ask, what is this pink cake? Yes, that is our chocolate beet cake. So that actually has a cream cheese frosting and it has beet juice added to it. And then right inside that chocolate batter is also pureed beets and yogurt. So we're using our vegetables, we're using our dairy and that yogurt in there is actually helping keep the cake really moist, really tender, and it's giving it that nice structure. It actually looks delicious. Do you yes. taste the beets or not? You're not sure what it tastes like? You know, like. some people taste beets and some mm -hmm. people don't. Chocolate and beets complement each other very well. Oh. They're very earthy. So they kind of play off each other in an unexpected way. Nice. What is this? That is our parsnip tart. So a lot of people haven't had parsnips before. And that's what that vegetable yes, is? Yes, so okay. it's a root vegetable, very similar to a potato. And inside of that is a parsnip that was cooked in heavy cream. And then some egg yolks are added. It's set in that crust and baked. And then we actually added some blueberries to it too. So it gives it a little bit of more a fruity tone too but parsnips are very much like Thanksgiving dinner. Okay. They have the cloves, the nutmeg, all that delicious kind of taste. They sound it. great. Yes. All right, and what about these cookies? Those are our sweet potato cookies, and those are one of my new favorite cookies. So it's a play on milk and cookies, and what you do is you can actually serve it with warm cinnamon milk. Yum. So maybe not great for this weather right now, but once it gets a little chillier, that warm cinnamon milk in those cookies are gonna be a really big hit. And how interesting, I've never had sweet potatoes in a cookie before. Yes, and it's very easy to do because the sweet potatoes are already naturally so sweet and starchy that you can actually replace a lot of your flour just with the sweet potato puree. That's perfect. Yes. You know, and milk means more. You guys come up with all kinds of clever <laughs> stuff and I know all these uh, recipes are on your website. Yes, they we'll are. We'll have a link on ours. What is this? That is a play on strawberries and shortcakes, so it's actually strawberries and corn cake. Okay. So right in the corn cakes, we have cornmeal, we have some buttermilk, and there's actually some caramelized sweet corn, and then we topped it with some sweet corn on top. So you're getting corn three ways there, you're getting lots of dairy, and that buttermilk kind of gives it that tanginess too, where it helps have a little acid, it balances well with the strawberries. It's a really good treat. You know, and these are super trendy, aren't they? Yes. I love it. Yes, savory uh, desserts are just a very big thing right now, so and we're so helping push it along. And is dairy. Yes. And since it is National Dairy Month and it's National Milk Day, yes. I think we should have some milk. I think so too. All right, yes. cheers, cheers to dairy. I love it. So good. 